She's a treasure to the family. She's a sweet little spitfire. Lily's grandpa, Dan Smith, says the whole family is having a hard time coming to grips with the loss. Dad feels guilt for no reason at all. It's not his blame, but uh, they're, they're struggling. You know, it's slowly settling in. When Mama comes home from the hospital the first time and Lily's not there, you know, that was a heartbreaking moment. Around 11.30 Wednesday morning, Lily's dad, Daniel, was driving his kids back home from swim lessons. Lily and her six-year-old brother, Luke, were strapped in their car seats in the back. Their minivan was stopped at a stop sign at Power Road and Hunt Highway. That's when detectives say Jason Sanchez rear-ended them, going nearly 60 miles per hour, and he made no attempt to brake. Police say his blood alcohol level was nearly one and a half times the legal limit. So dad says that he was initially dizzy and disoriented. When he recognized his surroundings, he, he quickly went to get kids out of the car. A passerby actually got to the kids first, cut seatbelts, uh, and got Lily's brother out. Daniel and Luke were not seriously hurt. Four-year-old Lily died in the hospital in her parents' arms Thursday night. And it was the sweetest thing, you know, they remove all the equipment so mom and dad can, can really hold her like a baby. And, and they wept and, and hugged her as she passed. Dan says Luke and Lily were brother and sister and best friends. They were very close. She idolized her brother uh, when her brother's favorite color became red. Suddenly her favorite color was red. Sanchez was booked into jail the day of the crash and charged with aggravated assault and DUI. Since Lily did not survive, he now also faces a second degree murder charge. She's going to be sorely missed, but she'll live with us in our hearts. The family tells me they're grateful for the strangers who stepped in to help at the scene. A GoFundMe has been set up to help with funeral and medical expenses. If you'd like to help, we do have a link to that fundraiser on our website, azfamily.com. In Queen Creek, Michaela Marshall for Arizona's Family.